Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 20th of May, 2022. Yesterday, I went to my local stand in the pub, uh, as I said I was going to yesterday, and it wasn't really a pub session because I was on the alcohol-free beer, so as I was driving. But yeah, it was a good session uh, last night in the pub and I got talking to one of the very regular standers who goes to my one, a guy called Mark. And what I like about Mark is he's always very optimistic, very upbeat. And if you thought I was, <laughs> uh, he's like 10 times more upbeat than I am. And he's also an, an action taker as well, because he was saying that yesterday, yesterday afternoon, he was on the phone to both the Surrey police and the Metropolitan Police about this whole uh, party gate thing, which if you don't know, uh, our sort of Prime Minister Johnson and some of the other ministers and quite a lot of these other people uh, as well, were breaking their own lockdown rules this time two years ago when we were in lockdown here in this country and they were sort of having parties and traveling off uh, all over the place to uh, see kind of secret lovers and uh, sort of just travel willy-nilly here there and everywhere uh, doing whatever and uh, what Mark was saying, uh, and oh, and there's been a police investigation where they have actually, I think, found evidence that uh, these things were going on, and I think fines are going to be issued. But yeah, what Mark was asking the police is why didn't you ask them the obvious question? And that being, uh, well, you know, if these people were sort of partying and uh, all the rest of it, surely that means, that clearly means that uh, all of these people, Johnson, all the other ministers, etc., didn't believe there was a deadly lurgy about, uh, did they? Because if they did they'd be in some hermetically sealed bunker deep underground and they'd probably not even emerge until the danger was well and truly over. Or if they did to make some kind of press conference, uh, they'd probably come out with not one of those silly things on, but a proper kind of, uh, yeah, proper uh, mask to protect you against uh, uh, lurgies and things and they'd be standing sort of miles away from anyone else and making a quick press conference and then disappearing back into their uh, bunker, wouldn't they? And uh, because if they thought there was something deadly around and then they were just sort of partying, uh, that would mean they were essentially committing suicide, wouldn't it? And I can't remember if that stage, if Johnson had the new baby that he and his wife have, have had recently um but uh, uh he would have been putting certainly the mother and uh and the baby in danger as well so he wouldn't have done it would he he wouldn't have been partying if he thought there was a deadly virus so i kind of applaud mark for getting onto the phone to the police and saying to them why aren't you doing your jobs and asking this question, uh, you know, you clearly didn't believe, like, this is what the police should have been saying to Johnson, you clearly didn't believe there was a dangerous lurgy around. Um, so why on earth did you lock the country down three times? Why on earth did you wreck the economy? Why on earth did you wreck so many people's lives, so many businesses? Uh, cause so many uh, lockdown suicides and cause so many, you know, the collapse of the health service, meaning so many much more serious ailments weren't detected in time and again ruined people's lives. And 
this is just the question. This is the uh, the point Mark was making. Um, this is the question everybody should be asking. All the journalists uh, should be asking it. The police should be asking it. Um, the very useless members of the opposition, uh, Labour and uh, the other opposition parties, they should be asking this. Um, everybody should be asking the question, uh, yeah, why aren't you asking that question of uh, Johnson? So I would say this is what, again, what Mark was saying. He was sort of more or less shouting down the phone, do your jobs uh, to the police and ask those questions. And that's what I'd say, you know, journalists, police, just do your jobs and investigate this properly and ask why they locked down the country when they didn't believe there was a serious lurgy around two years ago. And I think it is proof positive that there wasn't, because like I say, they wouldn't have been partying, would they? So I'll leave it for now. Tim from Fair Play now. Thanks for watching.